I've been reading for well over 40 minutes and Tigger's been on my legs the whole time. Piggy, piggy. <laughs> Mochi loves snow. Mochi is waiting for the scraps after Tigger finishes eating. Now... <laughs> Mochi finishing the scraps. First sizable snowfall of the winter. Snow kind of feels nice as I'm stepping on them, but boots are way more uncomfortable than shoes, I gotta say. I'm listening to what Digital Minimalism said yesterday while I was listening to it, which is that I should go for walks without listening to any earphones. So here goes just a walk with no audio. I do this sometimes, but I'm doing it consciously today. Oh man, today was not the best day in getting 1% better. After my walk, I had a call that we, accountability call by the part-time YouTuber Academy Accelerator Group, which is only exclusive for those who paid like $5,000 for the program, but we got to join the accountability group call because uh, my partner Niels and I, Niels entered us into a competition uh, for keeping track of having accountability calls regularly and uh, we won by his submission so we got to join the call for free which was nice and the call was pretty valuable because I learned how you can pay GPT, chat GPT4 and have these prompts to and upload images and make thumbnails using AI. So that was a pretty interesting insight. Although I don't think it's just super useful for me because well, I'm just doing basic vlog-like videos and I don't really, what kind of fancy thumbnail would I have? As long as it conveys screenshots of what I'm doing in that video, then that's enough. So useful, possibly, but not for me, probably. After that, I found that uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, he's a small YouTuber, but one of my favorites, Jay Alto posted a video about Sam Sulek, which I've been looking forward to when he told me about it. And I wanted to watch that video on the big screen, so I turned it on the TV, and then I got sucked into watching YouTube on the TV. And as you can see here of what the, my history of the videos I watched today, I watched over 20 videos, some of them spanning over 30 minutes long. So that binge, was not a feel-good binge. By the end of it, I was like soul crushed and I was like, ah, shit, I did it again. But I kind of turned it around by doing the dishes and then writing a list down for all the stuff I have to get done tomorrow. There are quite a lot of stuff that I have to get done. And right now it's 9.24 p.m. It's much later than I'd normally make these videos, but I'm getting this done as well. So I, thinking about this right now, I need some kind of mechanism to stop me when I'm watching YouTube on TV, which I made it slightly more difficult by logging off the TV app, but making it available on the Google Chrome TV uh, app. So I have to take one more step to log in. But once I log in and I'm sucked into watching one video after the another, it's just a vacuum, not a vacuum, a spiral, a downward spiral where I just get sucked in. So either I have to not watch anything at all or I just say, I wanted to watch this video on the big screen. Everything else after this video, I'm gonna save to watch later and just turn it off. That's the kind of system I need in order to not get sucked in again. I just came up with that right now, but I think that should work as long as I remember to stick to it. Anyways, at least it wasn't a complete waste of a whole day. So let's make tomorrow better. 1% better every day, baby.